So lesson 94, I want us to discuss the power of our, I, have, I know I have highlighted for our as your best friend, but in this video, I want to show you how for our is so powerful. And I think with what GBPUSD did to us uh, by assuming for our double bottom, you'll pay attention on this lesson. Watch it to the end. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you comment. If you have not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. And as we learn, I want you to open your heart to, to understand something different today. I want you to have an idea of how time frames are powerful. Today we are going to discuss the power of four. So with that, with that, I want to give an example. There are many times that you might be analyzing your pair. You may be on your monthly time frame. You may be on your daily time frame. You may be on your four-hour time frame. But what I want you to, to, know, to note is that everyone is different. There are those people, when they get a pattern on monthly, they know how to work it out. If they get a pattern on, on, on daily, it is easier or on weekly, it is easier. But for me, analyzing all the trades I have taken and analyzing every pattern that I've taken, for me, I can say uh, the, win, the win rate for four hour is much higher and it does, not, um, it does not go in circles. And I have seen uh, triggers of four hour and the exit points on four, like on four, I can tell you, this market, it, it doesn't want to go further. So I know that the triggers of exit and I know a powerful four hour setup. And for me, I have decided what is powerful in my setups or in my trading. I want to teach you all so that you can either pick something from it. So this is an example. You're on a weekly time frame. The market is a very good uptrend. So when you check the market structure, it's evident that this market is an uptrend, you see? And the market has come down for two weeks. These two red candles is for two weeks. So you're wondering, is this a retracement? Because those are some of the questions you should ask yourself. Anytime you have a very good uptrend and the market sell for two weeks, the question is, is it a retest or is it a reversal? So if it is a retest, the market will retest a key area. It can retest to, let's say, because the market broke that resistance, it can be retesting to that area and then does what? Go up and continue, continue buying. So retest, we look for key zones where we, we believe that the market is retesting to. If it is a reversal, it can only be a reversal if it has a pattern. And the pattern that the market reverses most of the time, it's a double top, double top. So it is easier to ask yourself, is this a retracement or a reversal? Why is it easy? You just need to verify there is no double top on the left. If there is no double top, there is nothing that is making this market to go down. Automatically, it is a retest. So I will squeeze my charts and I look at my left. So when I look at my left, do I see any resistance that made this market to stop? Because you have to understand, at a, at a resistance, three things happen. So if you ever find a resistance, uh, three things happen. Number one, rejection. So the market will reject rejection. Number two, what happens? There is rejection, there is the break of structure, BOS, and number three, there is ranging. So that is what happens at the resistance or at support ranging. So the market, it's either it will reject a resistance. So in case, if this was our resistance, that was our resistance, and the market was coming up, down, up, down, and then it defines our resistance, it's either it gets rejected and reverses. That is one. The other way, it's either it breaks. As it comes here, the market breaks through and continue to go up. That's another thing. 
the ranging part is when the market reaches here and it ranges. So instead of breaking and getting rejected, it ranges at resistance. So you have to be very, very careful. And this is what I teach in my class. I tell students, I already have a strategy if the market gets rejected. I have a strategy if the resistance break. I have a strategy if resistance range. So if I got you, I have all the three strategies. Now you know what happens at resistance. If it is a reversal, you have a double top. If it is a retest, there's nothing like a, a resistance. So you can see, we have this one candle resistance. I don't know if you can see it very well, but let me, let me zoom it for you. So we have this green candle. As long as it is a green candle followed by red, automatically it has activated a resistance. It has authorized a resistance. So you see, these are early stages of analyzing. So you're analyzing your pair and you're, you're thinking, oh, but they, I have, a, I have a, a resistance area. I have this resistance area. And um, you come and mark. You mark like that. The reason why you're marking like this, you want to know, is it a powerful double top or a weak double top? We keep saying here that a powerful double top should not appear on a higher time frame. Meaning if I flip on, because we are on the weekly, if I flip on the monthly, this double top should not be visible. Because if it's available on the monthly, it is not that powerful. It is already weak. So that's what I, I keep telling people. The next thing, after you identify the double top, the next thing I think you should identify, the next thing you should identify is what? Is, is this double top on the monthly? So we go to the monthly time frame, and we can see there is no double top. You can see where well, weekly we are seeing a green candle on monthly we do not have, and that's what should give you confidence that this market does not. It's not on the monthly; it is only on the weekly. So the rules. So after now you have understood that. What are the rules for entering? a double top. What are the rules? We use WBB. So the WBB has three entry signal. So the three entry signal of WBB is so simple. Number one, wait for what? A red candle. Number two, check, check if it's bearish angles. And then number three, if not, WBB. So what we are trying to say here is, we will check if there is a red candle. Mm. If this red candle happens, and you see we already have a red candle here. So we already have a red candle. So yes, you got the red candle, but check if it's very shanker. This red candle reached around here. It didn't engulf the green one. So you're told, if not WBB, so the red candle is where we are putting the box and we are waiting for the market to do what? To break that box. We are waiting for the market to break that box. Now, the question is, you're doing analysis on the weekly time frame, and already you understand that already the box has been broken. So the question is, as a trader, what are you supposed to do? I want you to comment down below. Are you supposed to sell immediately? Are you supposed to flip on lower time frame? Are you supposed to avoid until I don't know what? What are you supposed to do? Avoid sell immediately or go to lower time frame? I want you to comment on the comment section. What do you think you're supposed to do? Already WBB has confirmed it's a weekly time frame. The double top is not on the monthly. It means it is coming down and you have gotten an entry on weekly. So what is the right thing to do, guys? What is that right thing to do? What do you think you're supposed to do? Do you supposed to sell immediately? Let me show you. If you sell immediately now, <clears throat> it means your stop loss is around here. So you're willing 
you're willing to sell when your stop loss is all the way here. And you can sell this trade and your stop loss of 494 be, be hit and the market continue up. And do you know what you will conclude? You will say WBB does not work. So I want you to always note that as much as we have been given an entry at time frame, either four hour daily, weekly, whichever monthly, we need to work with four hour as our entry. And that's why this video is about the power of four hour. So even if you go to daily, there's not much things you'll be told because on the daily time frame, they don't have any pattern because the double bottom that you're supposed to have is around here. This is your double bottom. So it, in the daily, you will feel like you're safe because it is not triggering. The double bottom is not triggering. But when you go to four hour, when you go to four hour, notice already weekly has told you sell. But now you're coming to four hour and say, okay, if I have to sell, I think I will delete everything so that we can start afresh. So notice on daily, we have WBB. And the market is telling you for sure sell. That is something I've come to realize. The market has, tell you, has told you to sell. But when you come to four hour, you notice the market is ranging on this area. Like the market has ranged on that area. You can see the market is in one place. And you're trying to think, what is this? What is happening? And you find out that on your left, why is the market stopping? On your left, there is a support. Guys, follow very carefully. There is a support. And this is exactly what GBPUSD did. And you see, I was aware, as in, on four hour, I have been so much glued to it as my confirmation. And sometimes it messes your high time frame. And sometimes you feel like you don't want to use it. But me, I believe any trade that is challenged by four hour, it is not worth your time. Why? Because weekly is telling you to sell. And according to four hour, we have a double bottom and we have to check our half. So this is our double bottom and we check our half. That is our half guys. So once we check our half, the next thing we are checking is this double bottom on the daily. Because if it's on the daily, it holds no water because it's not strong. So the next thing I want to check is it on the daily? And notice I have been told to sell by the weekly time frame. So I'm coming to the daily time frame and checking is my double top there? And the question is no, meaning everything is very powerful. I go to weekly, there's no double bottom. So this double bottom that is on four hour, it's like telling, it's like I'm telling you, weekly can give you a double top that we saw. But this double top is not is nothing if four hour still have another pattern. So yes, you have this double top that is not on the monthly. But if you flip on the week, the four hour and you find another pattern, for me, I believe that the four hour pattern can be used as two things. It can either be used as an obstacle for you to delay yourself or it can be used as a point where you try to sell and the four has agreed they will be buying. So this double bottom is no longer on the daily. It's not on the four hour. It's nowhere. So it is just on the four hour. And as we can see, the market has two ways. So this was the problem, guys. Whenever I have a double bottom on four hour and the market has already given me a confirmation either to sell or to buy, either I have a double top on daily, weekly, monthly, and I've been told buy. And then I come to lower time frame, I find a different time pattern, like a double bottom. It's the, the time frame, my higher time frame telling me to sell, it has a double top. Lower time frame is telling me to, to buy because it has a double bottom so for me i've come to realize if i find such a thing 
I will only pay attention on this on this thing. When I have a pattern on a higher time frame, and I want you to understand this, when a higher time frame has given you an entry and already for has given you a pattern, I want you to pay attention on this. This double bottom, this double bottom, you can either put your one trade at the half. This is at the half. That's the only place you're supposed to place your trade. And this trade is a sell order. Because remember weekly, they have told you to do what? They have told you to sell. So your first trade should be at here. The second trade, should be if the market violates. So once the market can come here and break and we get a red candle, if we can get a red candle like this, the market has violated that double bottom. And this gives us a hands up of us selling. So we already know the double bottom that was in question has been violated. And because it's only on four hour, it is very, very powerful. So the first trade that we will do is if the market goes to half, it activates. And that's the only trade you should be holding. The only trade you should be holding. The second trade, you are checking if the market does what? If the market breaks the double bottom to gives you an inverted cup and handle. And I think here is where we are getting lost, guys. I have been trading the wrong way and I'll tell you how. Because initially, my sell orders, for me initially, if weekly has told me to sell and I come to four hour and four has a double bottom, for me, I will first place my first sell according to weekly, which is very wrong, guys. Why? Because if I sell here, I have, I have disrespected the pattern on, I have disrespected the pattern on the, on the four hour. I've respected the pattern on four hour. So my first trade should always be at the half and it should only be my only trade as a sell order. And now the rest is observation. And you see where you tell people to observe, they don't like paying attention. If I tell someone, if you ever find you have a double top on the monthly, you have a double top on the monthly, and then you come on the weekly not pattern, you come on the daily, uh, you have a double bottom on the monthly, and then you come on the daily, you have a double top. Exactly. Do exactly what I'm telling you. And this exam of having two patterns in two time frames different patterns as long as you don't pass it it will keep coming it will keep coming it will keep coming until you learn what i'm trying to say is that weekly we have a pattern that is a double top and is suggesting us to sell for our it has a pattern that it's suggesting us to buy unless it breaks this first attempt. If the market comes and breaks our first attempt, what do you think, guys, will happen? First attempt, what do you think will happen? If the market breaks our first attempt, we'll get a cup and handle inverted, which will support the sell on the weekly. So the only way you can put your sell order is here, and you only have one trade until you wait. So the second trade, for me, I was Placing one trade immediately, second trade at the half, that trade at the neckline, no, don't do that. So if the market does not, it's, it comes to the half, if this market comes to the half, if this market comes to the half and activate your sell limit, activate your sell limit, what will happen? You will only have one open position. And now you'll be waiting for the market to come down and does what? Breaks and breaks this first attempt. And you will have easy time trading that, that pattern. The second thing, if the market approaches here, if the market approaches here, trust me, 
don't really pay attention here on this market because it can come to the neckline and the market can break. The only time you pay the attention is that double top and you use CSB. So the market will activate a double top and you wait for the market to break current support so that you can place your second trade. Here is where people don't understand. If the market dares to break the neckline on four hour, it's very powerful because if four hour neckline is broken, it just means two things. The market is headed to the half of this double bottom. And you see, if now you understand that the market is going to the half, you know exactly where you will place your second trade. So already you have one trade and then you'll come and say, in this market, I am placing only three trades. I'll place my second trade at that center and at the end. And all, the only time you will have the trades, you'll have only three trades. Any time higher time frame has confirmed a sell and lower time frame is a buy, I highly suggest don't think of buying because already that double bottom, if you try to buy, it can give you money and I don't refuse. But I want you to have a discipline where if I will buy a double bottom on four hour, it doesn't need to have a pattern that is telling me to sell on weekly. Why? Because that buy is short lived. And everything you have earned, if you keep buying, when sellers come in, they don't come, they don't come softly. They will come with a bang. And let me tell you, you will, they will take all the profits that you have been accumulating for that buy. So for me, what I can advise, what I can advise guys is that anytime, anytime guys, you have a double top on the daily, weekly, monthly, anytime you have a double top on daily, weekly, monthly, and you come on four and find a double bottom, like this market is trying to shift you up. You only place a limit on three trades. So you will, you can even do the first one, you can do a zero, zero, 001, like a very low minimum load. And then the second one, you can increase the load. And the third one can be even higher load. So that if the market, the principle of this trade, if the market reaches here, it eventually comes down, meaning the two trades, this trade might be in drawdown but you can close it because it was not even having a higher lot. The two trades that were activated eventually will give you money. And this market can have, can even activate a new pattern. And with that, you can trade it. So I want us to see what happened. So we are not placing any trade around here. So the market continues trying to break through and you're not taking any trade. And you can see our first trade has been activated. Can you see? Double bottom, notice the, the pattern was on the weekly. Double bottom has been activated now, saying we are buying and weekly selling us to sell. But we had already put our sell order here. So we are thinking, and you can see on your left, there is no like a double top, there is nothing. So we can't say the market has formed a double top. So you can see the market is now going down. And what they have formed, they have formed a small double top that you may not even see. And that small double top has broken the neckline, which means you can now start adding a new position again. And that's how the market dropped. Now, with this, the market never reached our our half of the half of the distance, and it never reached here. In fact, this market never reached even the neckline. So the market played out and we were waiting for the other trigger. And the other trigger guys, what did I say? The double bottom that was very taxing, breaking what? The double bottom breaking first attempt. And now you are confident that this market is going to sell. And that's how that market played out. Why do you think this market is selling? It's only selling because of what? It's selling because weekly had a double top. So if you are blinded again, you come and check, oh, I have a double bottom and I want to buy. I, you keep buying, you don't know where your half is. This is a drawdown that has not returned. These are so many pips from, let's say, how many people tried to buy when this market was above here? 
they never understood that weekly is very powerful. They were taken on a drawdown of 730, 35 pips. So 735 pips, they were taken on that drawdown. And this drawdown they're being taken is just the fact that they could not understand that this double bottom was used as an obstacle. So when I was saying on GBPUSD, we are being used uh, the double bottom as an obstacle, they, they used that obstacle to remove everyone who was selling. But this time they didn't use, they didn't use, um, they didn't use this obstacle to reach to the hub. So according to the GBPUSD, let's go to GBPUSD that you have been doing. According to GBPUSD, same thing happens. And I want you to pay attention. Same thing happens, but the, the question is, how did it run differently? So you go to daily time frame and you find um you go to daily time frame and you find a double, a double top. And I want to show you exactly if you have one rule, it doesn't matter. One way that rule will work for you. And that's the rule. It's a new rule, and it that's what I'll be using. Because we have to really identify, even if we are, we are trading on four hour, how have we come to the four hour? What pattern is it in four hour? Is it from a place of on the daily has been activated? So you can see on the daily, on the daily, the market has a double top, which is very clear. And this double top is not on the weekly. That double, bot, that double top was not on the weekly. So the market, it's very clear. The double top is not on the weekly, meaning this double top, whatever it tells us, it shall do. So the market comes and gives us a bearish angle. So you squeeze your chart and the market has engulfed the green candle. So what, as, 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 um, as your strategy, you know, I tell people, when you use your strategy, don't beat, don't beat yourself so hard. Why? You just need to come back and say, okay, but then what made me to enter this trade? I entered this trade because of this very shingle. Okay, did I go to four hours? So the market is telling you that it can come up to the half. So you go to four hour time frame, and you find what? We find the double bottom. Guys, we will do the same thing we have done. We have done with what? With the GBP Audi. So I told you, anytime you find a double bottom, and this is what actually it had not sink in me. Anytime you find a double bottom on four hour, and this double bottom is a, as a result of a pattern that has confirmed. This one is already an obstacle, but you have to be very careful how you're treating this obstacle because one, the market makers can use this obstacle to remove everyone before they sell the market. So this obstacle, don't see it as a, as a weak point. See this obstacle as a point where it can be used against you. And that's what I think I have failed for so long to realize. For me, I say, ah, it's an obstacle. I will just maneuver around it. And I first place my first trade immediately. And then I mark my half and I say my second trade, I will place a sell order at the half. And then I come, I mark my neckline. I say my next, I will put it at the neckline. All along, I'm not taking it as an obstacle. I'm just, I'm not taking it seriously that this obstacle can be used and the market even the setup can complete being an obstacle to remove everyone. So, but now I'm very, very sensitive. According to this GBPUSD, and this is the trade that we did last week, according to this trade, exactly this is what is happening. The market is giving you a double bottom when on the daily, they have given what? On the daily, they have given you a double top and they have given you a bearish angle. So it's a matter of one time frame is telling you to sell and the other time frame is telling you to buy. It is easier if they don't have, imagine, I'm just imagining out loud, if this green candle broke out, if this green candle broke out, that double top, double bottom was very easy to trade. Why? We could not be thinking of selling. We can only be thinking of buying. Imagine that double bottom was violated. 
there is no way on four hour I can see a double bottom and I'm thinking it's an obstacle. In fact, I will think this is a pattern to push me towards my goal because the daily broke resistance. Now the question and the confusion comes when daily has a double top, it is supposed to go down and four has a double bottom, it's good to, to come up. And I hope you're, you are trying to understand what I'm trying to tell you. If you understand this, you will not get confusion. So for our, we get this double bottom. So what we have said is that don't we do not enter immediately. And that's the mistake I have, I have been using. And sometimes the market favors me like the way I've shown you GBPLD, the market eventually drop. So I enter immediately, but right now we won't be entering immediately. The only trade that you're supposed to enter is the sell order that you'll put at 2509. That's the only sell limit you will enter and the rest you will say if the market comes and and forms a small double top i will use what csb so i will use csb csb means i will use something to show me that it is okay for me now to sell if the market starts to break like a resistance a, a support for me i can place another trade but if my, and these are some of the things that you're saying, if my neckline is broken, let's say my neckline is broken. For instance, my neckline gets broken. For me, I understand that this double bottom will go that distance. So I have to have two more other positions that I will lock. Imagine if this is what we did, guys. Imagine if this is what we did. But nevertheless, we'll get another setup and I'll be here trying to, to remind you of what we are supposed to do. So we get this and I tell you, first trade should be at 25, 10. Second trade should be at, at 26, 13. And the third trade should be at 26, 63. And I tell you, you can only have three trades, three trades, unless, we see support being broken. If support is not being broken and the market is always, you see, there's a way the market just go up. It activates, goes up, it activates, come down, goes up, come down. The support, it doesn't break. It is not able to break current low. So it continue creating new low, high lows and it's not able to break them. So, but now, because now we have an idea, let's see how this market behaves. So the market comes up. So we enter the trade. And I remember my first trade was here. So I think it was here. That was a wrong entry. So I enter the trade and it activates. And I'm thinking, oh, because the daily has told me uh, it is a sell, the next activation is the neckline. That is wrong. The next activation, the next trade should be now the market has formed a double top. I'm waiting for current support break. And you see, as you're waiting for current support break, you get a red candle. So we get that red. We are waiting to get a confirmation of market breaking. Now, here is we are waiting. Why are we waiting? If that sell, if this current support breaks, that sell automatically it has accepted. And you're waiting patiently, why? Because we cannot, we cannot refuse the fact that we have this double bottom saying we buy and the other one is saying sell. So you need to be very careful how you're handling every situation. And as you wait, they don't break. So you only have one trade. And remember, we are not trying to buy. I told you, don't buy a pattern that one time frame is telling you to sell and the other one is telling you to buy. If you try to buy, you'll be confused. You'll be confused. Yes, you can see here there is money. But let me tell you, when the market was here, your hopes were selling. And the market starts to break. Your hopes are still the market will sell. And the only way is to plan your sell trade. So it is going towards activating your second trade. It, it, immediately, it activates. So, so far, you have only two trades. One at the half and the other one at the half of the distance. And then... After there, that's when you're waiting for the market to give you direction. Now, the question is, we have said it's either two things. It's either they activate our first trade half and then half of the distance or the full distance. 
or they break support so that we can know this cell has entered. Let me tell you guys, if this, if you're watching this and this is GBPUSD, this is current market. If this market happens to break this support, trust me, this market will go down. Why? Because they have broken. So they break this support. If they break that support and also they break. For me, I love the market that break two supports with one candle. It means the momentum has now entered. If you find that the market has broken the support area, it's an indication now they are following the higher time frame. So the work of four hours was to remove everyone who, who placed the trade immediately, the market closed. And you can see it is a drawdown of 154 pips. The market, the obstacle will not play out like this always. The obstacle that they will reach around here and they drop. The obstacle they just reach, they drop. They reach here, they drop. And you have to be, you just have to be very, very careful. Why? Because sometimes the market can tell you, the market can tell you to buy, and we go to lower time frame is telling you to sell. So according to what I have taught you today, I have taught you the power of four hour. And I have told you, if you happen on monthly, you have a double on the monthly, you have a double bottom but on the daily of four hours there's a new pattern there you can only do three positions and those three positions are sell limits or buy limits and then you pay attention for current support to break or current resistance to break that's all let me give you a, a final example with euro chf why am i giving you that example with euro chf it has that data has already been engraved in my brain like there's no way i can ever forget that trade. So this trade, and I remember even sharing it here. This trade, I was in it. And so there are many times the market will not even give you a pattern on, on four. It can also give you on the daily. Like you have to know how this market will play out. And I thank God for helping me to be involved in these such trades where they are not working as I saw or I want to learn no, new information because that's a new information and a new strategy that I have learned through, and I don't know the name, I can give it. And with time, if I back test it and it works, it will help so many people. So I was, I was, I never knew how to trade monthly until I traded Euro CHF monthly. So uh, according to double bottom, the market has given us a bearish, a bullish angle, meaning this market is a buy, a very, good buy so we have a buy here and the market is telling you to buy up to the half so i came and i realized oh by the way this is free 79 pips i was very happy so i went to weekly time frame i was trying to check if i have any obstacles and according to weekly in fact weekly was trying to tell me you can what you can even enter that trade we have already broken resistance we are ready to go but the problem was when i went to daily there was a double top so and and i'm i'm saying this it's not only for our will give you a pattern contrary to what you're saying that pattern can come with two time frames more so there are times when a pattern if you have a double bottom on monthly they may not go exactly to four they can even use daily so you have this double bottom note the double top and uh, you have a double bottom on monthly but you have a double top on the daily you're wondering is this an obstacle or they can use the obstacle so i have said if you ever find yourself in such a situation and i i don't encourage people to sell me for me I don't encourage people to sell because selling you are diverting automatically you are doing exactly what the banks want to do for me i have told you if you ever find a double top notice monthly it is a clean buy you've been given a bullish angle the market is buying and then you come on the daily you come on the daily and the market is telling you to sell i have told you the first sell order you put it there. So this is my first sell order. And you're, you don't have a problem even selling. In fact, you don't want to find yourself selling because you know you can't sell an obstacle. You can't, you can't, you can't take that bait, guys. And then say, if they break, if they happen to break that neckline, my second sell. So the first sell you're not risking, 
But these two cells, you are risking your way out. So the center one, you are risking it. In the farthest, you're even risking more. So you have two, you have three positions. That one and that, all of these are by orders, so that they can they can talk the same language monthly. So you have these two, the three zones: the first by order, the second by order, and the third. Or you wait if this market comes here, you wait for current resistance break. So you don't have to wait for the market to activate here. The market can come down, come down, and start to go up. Just wait for the market to create a resistance, put a line and wait for it to break for you to start entering. Or the market can come down here and create a double bottom. Don't enter with WBB, wait for current resistance to break so that you can enter in again. Or come here and wait for current resistance. So I want to show you what really happened to this trade. So let's say you have, you have arranged your buy limits. You're not, trying to buy, to sell. Trying to sell is the last thing you want. So the market activates, so it has activated your half. Now we are looking for a current resistance to break so that we can enter a uh, buy comfortably. So we have a red candle followed by green. So we don't, we need a red candle to get a resistance. So we are saying it's either that resistance is broken for us to enter a buy, so the resistance breaks that we can know, by the way, it's now buying or we, and don't put a sell limit here. We do not put a, a buy limit on the neckline because it's very tricky. The neckline, the market will always break. So at the neckline, we are waiting for current resistance. So the market, as you wait for current resistance, the market breaks again. And you see, it comes with the momentum and breaks your neckline. So for me, I used to put on my buy order and it comes being bypassed like this. So you are still using, a, all along you have one trade. You are still using what? A, 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 a resistance break. So you say, okay, for me to enter that buy again, because monthly has told me to buy, let them break that resistance and I will enter. So the market activates your second trade. And as it activates your second trade, you're thinking, will this market ever break my resistance? So you come here and say, if you break there, I will enter now a trade. I don't need to wait for what? I don't need to wait for the third activation. And now you place your, your this is how, this is now the right time to place the trade. You see, that is the right time to place the trade. And you can say, I will, I will, I will take back up to there. And let's see what the market did. Did it go back after breaking resistance? No. Can you see? Can you see after resistance was broken, how the market went up? I can't wait to get the exact pattern for me to come here and try to tell you. So at the end of the day, if you have listened to me, I have told you. If you have two patterns, one is saying a sell and the other one is saying a buy. The other one, the one that is on lower time frame, it's an obstacle. And the only way you can trade only have three positions. And those these positions are very much part, part aside. That is, you cannot blow your account with those positions. I hope I have made myself clear. We will be waiting for what the market will do on GBPUSD. GBPUSD, it's very easy to trade it. If, if, and I'm saying if, if they break, if they break our support, you see, they have not broken support since this double bottom, they have failed to break the support. Trust me, guys, if they break that support, if they break any of the support, the market will sell. Audio is the same. If Audio SD comes and breaks this support, they come and break support here. So Audio SD, when they gave us a sell, they have never broken a support. And that's what they are trying to, to look. What, what, what is the right time to break the support so that it can now align? You can see the support has not been broken. Euro USD the same. Euro USD, they gave us a, a, a they gave us a sell around here, and they have not broken support. You can see the support has not been broken. So I want you to pay attention on three trades. GBPUSD, AUDUSD, and EURUSD. Allow it to break current support. And once the, that current support is broken, you will know for sure that now sellers 
have come in. Why? From higher time frame, the market has already agreed to sell. For our, it either it gives us a pattern or a current support. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. All the best in your trades. Note that you have to watch and rewatch this video to understand what I have said. I have released a lot of good information, knowledge that I charge $400. If you want my mentorship program, if you want to buy my course that has 12 modules, so many, so many uh, information, very much detailed information that just to tap me, the course goes for $100. And next week, we have physical class. The December class physical is next week. I can't wait to see you all in that class. Bye-bye and God bless. Love you.